Dream King Films, we're here at the Zerifat Academy Eagles. Hey, hey, hey um, head coach Ivor Durham. Hey, coach, the season is upon us. Real quick, coach, just tell us who you got here with you and uh, what you like about your squad. Uh, we're going to be a lot uh, high-powered this year. Uh, got a lot of uh, – We've been we've been doing this since the eighth grade, so now we're tenth and eleven. So uh, it's going to be a real good season. Going to put up big numbers. Um, I think that right now um, I have the best receiving core in the city, and I'll put it up against anybody. A lot of hard work they've been playing against. Some of them been playing from the seventh to the eighth grade. Um, I think I got the best ninth grade receiver coming in. I know I got the best quarterback. I probably got one of the most dynamic uh, receivers. Uh, uh, so, I mean, it's going to be interesting this year to see how far and what we can do. Um, we, we moved over to the Sunshine because we was independent for a while, so we moved into the Sunshine. So we're, we're really definitely uh, doing things. Numbers are not that high, but we have uh, some real, real quality athletes this year. Talk about your uh, cash you brought here with you uh, today, Coach, starting with your quarterback right here. We got Jordan Durham. Um, got about four or five offers. Uh, Gonna do some great things this year. Threw for about what about twenty six hundred last year. Yes, sir. Then we got Josh, Josh Jones, aka Batman. Then I mean, which is probably uh, I I really don't want to go out on and say this, but I'm gonna go and say it. I like him over all the receivers in the city. That's everybody, everybody. And then I got uh, uh, Mr. Weirdo, aka Terrell Brandt himself. Probably one of the most electrifying receivers you going to see. He get the ball, it's, it's six. And I'll match him up with anybody in the city. And then we got Alan Masseline, straight dog. Straight dog. He didn't play last year because he got hurt. Straight dog. Everybody knows, see, everybody know these guys. And then, of course, he went and got the Hawaiian sensation. A.K. Ocean Swanson. Everybody had been, he done been a few schools, but now we got him back home and then of course he's a middle schooler mr wiggles aka <laughs> everybody know mr wiggles so uh but man we definitely should have a great season this year uh, and we we, sh we should we should beat some teams this year that have some 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 names like episcopal we want yuli we lost the yuli got blew out by yuli last year we lost the episcopal last year so those are some of the teams that we really want to compete with and once we really compete with these guys next year we want Trinity. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, Jordan, real quick, man, just talk about how hard your coach been pushing you uh, this far throughout this offseason. Uh, he's been pushing me real hard. Me and my team are coming out every day, working in, day in, day out. Saturdays, Sundays, we've been working all weekend, pumping them weights, running, trying to stay in shape all season long, trying to win the state championship. Yes, sir, same question. How hard Coach Ivor Dorn been pushing y'all? It's can't even speak on it. It's unmatchable. Duh. The confidence he has in us, how far he wants us to go, it's just crazy. I, my quarterback, too, he push us. We know what we got to do. Back to back, let's go. Yes, sir. It's, it's real hard. Every day, getting up early in the morning, practicing, you no know, working, trying to get better. Yes, sir. Uh, coach, he pushes us. He uh, puts us at a standard that we have to meet, and we have to go past that standard. If we don't pass it, it's a problem. Yes, sir. Swanson, how hard Coach Ivor Durham been pushing y'all? I mean, he been pushing us real hard. He makes us go to our all every day. Make us give our max effort every day. I don't think nobody working harder than Z. Yes, sir. Wilkins, man, how hard Coach Durham been pushing y'all out here this summer? Very, very hard. No days off. Yes, sir. Going back to you, Jordan, man, um, just talk about your offense real quick, specifically that offensive line and what you like about those big guys. And also talk about this star-studded receiving group you got. Yes, sir. My old line probably got one of the best old line in the city. Uh, 6'4", everybody 300 pounds all, all across the board. Uh, my receiving core, best in the city. Uh, got Joshua Jones, Terrell Brandt, uh, Davion Brown, plenty of other weapons that we're going to use this season. Uh, I led the city last year in passing. We're going to do it again this year. Give me your quick thoughts on the Eagles defense. I know you've been getting them guys work, Jordan, but, yes, but give me your quick thoughts on the uh, defense and what you like about them. Defense, we got the best defense. We're going to fly to the ball every time. Eagles, Eagles nest, so we're going to get to the ball, 11 hats to the ball every time. Yes, sir. Jordan, you, I'm sorry. Um, Josh, you're going to be relieved. Um, I'm sorry. Josh, you're going to be leading those wide receivers real quick. Just give me your thoughts on the wide receivers and what you like about them. Man, this dude right here, can't nobody in the city guard. Can't nobody. Me, can't nobody guard. I'm bet myself. I'm bet my teammates. You feel me? Yes, leader sir. In this leader. I'm going to be the leader. Tell you. Yes, sir. Receiving guard. 
Same question. He's this guy right here. He he's he's that guy. Like, can't no ain't nobody from the stop us this year. We yeah. trying to go again, get state. So. I know both of y'all gonna light up the scoreboard this year real quick, but uh, who, who you think out of both of y'all could get the most touchdowns this year? Me. Him. I mean, how many do you think you're gonna rack up? A lot. Yes, yeah, sir. How many do you think you're gonna rack up, Josh? That one new. Yes, you got a share. You got a share. Yes, sir. Same question, man. Talk about the receiving core as well as the offensive line. Uh, it's a great receiving core. Uh, they fly to the ball. They're aggressive. Uh, they also great blockers. Coming off of an injury, I feel like I can come back and add on to that. Uh, the offensive line, they're great. They always get back to the ball. You never see them. They help everybody up. Give me a quick thoughts on the defense this year. Defense, <laughs> we coming up. We hitting. Flying to the ball. Everybody. Everybody getting hit. Yes, sir. Give me some of your personal as well as team goals for this upcoming season. Uh, I want a thousand yards. I want a thousand. I want a thousand and everything. I want multiple. I want multiple picks. I want to lead the city in picks this season and lead the city in solo tackles. Yes, sir. Same question, Swanson. Give me um, your thoughts on that receiving core as well as that offensive line. The receiving, the receiving core, the ball going there, they're going to get it. I let them over any DB in the city. Uh, and our old line. I love getting the ball running behind them big guys. They, they, they move the defenders out the way for me. Yes, sir. And give me, give me your thoughts on the defense as well. The defense, all hats to the ball. You get the ball, you don't want to touch that ball. Not, yeah. not in our defense. Yes, sir. What you got to say to all the middle schoolers out there that you're going to face this year, man? What, what um, they got to be looking out for? We're going to win a couple of games, but next year we're going to be more prepared. We're going to be way bigger and stronger. Yes, sir. Coach, you, you talked about your offense a lot, but give me your thoughts on that defense, Coach. Uh, Defense is definitely uh, something that we we put a lot of emphasis on this year. Uh, we had some special additions. We have, once again, we do have Davion Brown, which is everybody know who Davion is, and um, he's definitely going to be added to the defense. Um, um, but this year, our main goal was is that the youth would hurt us. So now everything is kind of evened out. Everything is matched up on pretty evenly. So um, there's a lot of things that we're going to be able to do because, like, we're literally – of age with everybody now so so all of the, the extras of, of what we can and what we can not do um these kids in their respective nature have always been some of the top kids when they play so now people are have, gonna have to compete with the age now um the age is no longer a factor so we have no excuses on playing so you know once again uh defense is definitely going to be better because we were young so uh you can't really um, play high school football um, when you're young and the entire team is young. Now, we're 10th, 11th, 10th, 11th graders. And so, um, and I'm speaking on this year, we're gonna be competitive in our league, which is the sunshine. Um, but the overall aspect is, is is to just build and grow and just get better each and every day. Coach, same question with your offensive line. As you mentioned, you got one of the best receiving cores here in Northeast Florida, one of the most dynamic quarterbacks right there in Jordan Durham. Just, but they can't do much without the offensive line. Coach, talk well, about that well, group and what they're well, going to the do. Well, the offensive this year. line is, uh, it, it's, it's big. Um, but we had to go in and, and, and change the concept um, because at first we were playing more safety football, being safe because the kids were young. Now everything is going to be quicker. The game is changing. It's going to be quicker. Um, the kids are bigger, stronger, faster. And the line has been there since the eighth grade. So we got some kids, you know, you got, uh, you got Savion, you got, uh, 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 I can't even, we got a bunch of, bunch of linemen uh, that's going to be able to, to be competitive. Um, but the, the, the biggest issue now with us, though, is just learning this new style of football because we were more of a power team last year. Um, this year, um, that ball going to come out a little quicker. We're going to play the quick game. We've been to some camps and have picked up some college uh, things. Um, Shout out to Mr. Cade. Uh, but we've done some great things uh, on changing what we do. So it's going to be very hard to beat us. Um, it's, go it's, go it's just going to be a little difficult to beat us this year if someone um, beats us in our league. Yes, sir, guys, going back to the defense, Jordan, uh, we all know y'all going to have to get out to the quarterback. Just talk about who you feel can get the most sacks for the Eagles this year. Uh, got a bunch of dogs. You got Ocean Swanson, E from right. You got uh, uh, Leon Kirkland, 6'3". He's going to the 10th grade. Uh, you got plenty more Julius uh, Smith, plenty more dogs on that defensive line, and we got linebackers that can come up and stick you every time. Talk about those linebackers, Joe. Uh, you got Alan Masseline, Davion Brown, uh, Smiley. He's like, he's a dog can fly to the ball every time. My whole defense swarming to the ball every time. 
turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. I know you're going to want those guys to get you plenty of them this year so you can light up that scoreboard. Who you feel like going to lead y'all in, in interceptions this year, Jordan? Interceptions, oof, that's kind of kind of picky. Everybody everybody can catch it. Now everybody want a ball, ball hog, so I don't know about that question yet, sir. Yes, sir. Josh Jones, Toya Josh. Brandt, Alan Masseline. Yes, sir. Tamiko Smith. So, I mean, it's a, it's a bunch of different guys. So, yeah. Give me your thoughts on that D-line and who you feel could lead y'all in sacks this year, Josh. I say E from right. That man, the dog, real dog. Talk, real talk about him a little bit more and what he brings to the table. He, he gonna bring that intensity, that energy, that that whatever you need, he gonna hype you up. He gonna get it up. Give me a quick thoughts on the linebacking court. Linebacker, <laughs> got a real dog right here. Them two. This man's a, he's an animal, animal. He's a beast. You can't stop him. Davion Brown, a beast. If you, you come through that hole, it's over with. Lights out. He's yeah. like that. Yes, sir. Talk about the pressure y'all uh, planning on getting on the quarterback this year. Who can lead y'all in sacks? Ephraim Wright. I feel like he can get a whole bunch of sacks this year. I feel like we got the best defense in the city. So. Yes, sir. Talk about the DBs real quick. Yeah, two. Man, we got a lot of DBs, really. Safety, corner. We, we good this year. So. Yes, sir. Same question, man. Give me your thoughts on that D-line and who you feel can lead y'all in sacks. Uh, my my D-line? I like Ephraim Wright. He gonna lead the city in sets. Great lineman, great energy. He coming up, he hitting. Give me your thoughts on the linebackers. Linebackers, my linebacker core, we coming up. We got our head, we got our head defensive coach, Coach Rashad Brown. He teaching us everything we need to know. How many interceptions you racking in this year? 10, 12, what, what you gonna get, man? I'm gonna average two a game. That's what's I'm up, gonna I'm gonna hold you to that. Two a game now, I'm gonna hold you to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Swanson, man, give me your thoughts on that D-line real quick. Yeah, D-line big, they fast, they get to that ball. I think Ethan Wright gonna lead the city in sacks for sure. Talk about uh, who you feel can lead y'all in the Tigers coming out the linebacking group. This guy right here, he gets to the ball fast, and he knocked the head off. Yes, yes sir. sir. Give me um, some of your uh, personal goals for this upcoming season. My personal goals this season, uh, of course I wanna bring back another ring. Um, I wanna average 10 tackles a game for sure. And then like, 50 yards a game, rushing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk about who you feel can lead this team in touchdown catches this year. For high school? Yeah, for high school. Um, TJ or Josh? How many feel they're going to get? Uh, like 35. How many touchdowns you feel Joy going to throw for this year? Like 100, 100. I mean, what, what you going to do this year? Talk about your personal goals. How many touchdowns, yards you going to get this year? Um, about 25, because those boys going to be real big, but it really don't matter to me because, you know, I'm Mr. Wiggles and stuff. Yes, sir. Coach, before we get out of here, man, Mr. Wiggles, man, you brought your young guy with you, man. We, we got to talk about him real quick because a lot of people going to find out about him here shortly. Coach, just, just talk about your young guy well, real quick. Well, uh, this was a good experience that uh, he's he's real dear to me. Um, But this is a good experience for him to be able to see these things. Um, I compare him to my son, H.J., um, and I, I think that he's on that same level, mentally, spiritually. And, you know, the physical part is going to come next. Um, but he's uh, surrounded with love. Uh, he has a great father, Coach Rashard Brown, which is our head middle school coach and our uh, defensive coordinator. But And he allows me to basically, you know, kind of like deal with him like he's my own. So, you know, I want to give him a great experience to be able to come down here to see, to see these type of things, to see what his future is going to be looking like because he will be the future of this program. Um, so it's just a op great opportunity. I mean, special kid. Uh, won three national championships, uh, have bailed us out of tons of football games, have beaten some of the best teams in the country. Um, so it's just that, and we're trying to groom him the right way to be able to learn some things that most kids don't get the opportunity to do. Yes, sir. Coach, thanks for talking with me. Guys, thanks for talking with me, and good luck to y'all future. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate All you. Right.